was a cylinder head decoke and rebuild including an approximate stage one port and flow so we start here with the head that's just been dismantled it's got all the engine oil all over it and it's dirty and I've just cleaned the surfaces of the exhaust ports as you can see here now this is the uh, port before it was uh, enlarged this is the port after it's enlarged a good three or four millimeters uh, that's an uh, inlet port, sorry, exhaust port. Here's an inlet port. There's another picture of the inlet port coming up. That's the original roughness, as you can see in there. Now you can see a before and after picture inside one cylinder. And here is the uh, valve guide surround. Now we'll look at the internal structure of the cylinder ahead and we can see I've cleaned that out as well. Here we're looking at a hex bolt, then a core plug, then an end cap, then a hex bolt. The uh, end cap has been aluminium welded to prevent it from leaking oil. This is after I've been doing the porting and I've got grinding everywhere. That's the head after cleaning. This is it after I've cleaned all the swarf and everything out, and it's nice and shiny. The valves have been ground, and now they've been replaced. I'm just putting the hydraulic lifters back in. As you can see the box behind, I kept them all in a nice order, like you should do. And that was stage one, approximate, port and smooth, gas flowing of a cylinder head, an eight-valve cylinder head. This gave the car around about... 15 to 25 horsepower extra as it took it from about 115 to approximately 140 horsepower.